What is going on, guys? It is Lucas back again another, with another vlog. I don't. Do I? Should I say that in every vlog? I say that in every single vlog. I feel like. Um, I just started promoting yesterday's video, trying to promote these a little bit better, and put them up and get you know more views. Which I know. Kind of greedy, but kind of like also like, hey, like I'm doing this, like I want this to be real. And a shout out to um, Charlie, I believe your name is. We gotta go look. One second, one second, one second, one second. Charlie, yes. And yes, I will keep vlogging, don't worry. Um, and even if, you know, I get a real job, I'll still vlog. And then, like you said, it will be juicy. Wink, wink. Um, you know, I'll, I'll give up all, all the secrets away for whatever I work for. No, I'm just kidding. But, um,. Yeah, it, it uh, it'll be it'll be fun um, doing that. So, thank you guys so much for you know liking the video and all that stuff. I noticed though, I do get more views. There, I do notice that I do get more views um, through the night. Like I know, like we're sitting at four views right now, and I probably will get more overnight. I don't know why that is. If like maybe wherever I upload, like my whatever. Um, if the the people that watch these videos are located in another country, I don't know. Just it's just the thing that I noticed. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, um, but I'm watching Lebre TV. I think it is like um, a, it talks about abandoned arenas and buildings and stuff like that, which I think is really really cool. Um, I'm really into that kind of thing. Um, and I think I get like these weird fixations at the first of the year. Um, I think I talked about this. Maybe I didn't. I don't remember. But I get these weird, like, things, like, at the beginning of the year, uh, towards the end and into the beginning, and it lasts, like, a few weeks, um, where, like, I doubt myself, and I just have horrible negative thoughts in my head, and it's, it's bad, um, and that's why I kind of, like, sometimes the vlogs are, are shorter, and, like, they're really weird, like, um, and you guys can tell, I think you guys can tell, like, days when I'm better, when I'm worse, um, you know, Last year was a, it was a weird year, it was a wild year, but we're getting through it. We're coping, we're, we're doing all that stuff, um, and things are getting better. So, yeah, that's what I'll say right now. But I'm going to continue watching this. It's about the Oracle Arena, which is uh, held, held some, I think it had Elimination Chamber. And I got to go watch um, TLC from one year when Cena like put the chairs down. I think it was Wade Barrett, I don't remember. My guest. All right, guys. First match up tonight on Monday Night Raw is Alexa versus Bianca Belair. And I'm so hyped up for this match. We've been getting a lot of teases of uh, the Wyatt Six, uh, Bray Wyatt, Uncle Hattie, whoever. We've been getting a lot of them teases. I am no victim. So I'm I'm really curious to see how they're gonna do that. Like I think Uncle Howdy maybe might come out. That's my thought at least. So we'll see. I think we're gonna get a commercial and then we're gonna get the match. But I'm curious why it's happening at the beginning of the, this this the show versus like the end of the show. All right, guys. So a bunch of people in Uncle Howdy masks. Have a, started appearing, distracting Alexa. So this is pretty interesting. Oh, a fl the the Wyatt Flash. Uh oh. She's attacking the ref. Oh no. Uh oh. This is good. I changed the lights. Oh, uh, Bianca is bleeding. I hope that's not all we get, because, like... Oh, Alexa's back. Oh, my lights just changed. There we go. I kind of want to see more of this. It's kind of... Oh, interesting. Alexa walking off to the side. <clears throat> Oh, they went off to commercial. Interesting. This is supposed to be the Raw logo colors. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, um, so they're kind of recapping what just happened. And I wonder if this is going to come to effect, if they're going to do like real life, where Montez Ford will, Montez Ford will leave with Bianca. Let's see what they show. Okay. Interesting. So, 
A little bit different than I thought they would go with it, but uh, I thought maybe they would show her like in the back or something, but they didn't. We got Drew McIntyre and Sheamus attacking the bloodline. The Usos don't know it. Oh, right into the barricade. All right. They're doing a little interview segment with Alexa Bliss. So let's see what happens. I have gained control uh -oh. over Bianca's headspace. And now she knows the only threat is really me. And that wrong with this championship actually feels their tricks. Maybe that's exactly interesting. All right, guys, just got done watching Monday Night Raw. Uh, Austin Theory, I couldn't think of his name, just retained the, the United States Championship. So, kind of a weird match, but it was good. Um, <clears throat> kind of a weird episode. I think, like, they have, like, these kind of, like, odd episodes in the New Year's and stuff. So, hopefully next week it'll get, it'll get better. I'm looking forward to SmackDown Friday. Um, yeah, just looking forward to another great year of wrestling, I guess. Well... Theoretically, technically, if you think about it, the WWE wrestling year doesn't start until after WrestleMania, so we still have a few months to go. Um, AEW, I would say, starts at Double or Nothing, or All, all Out, I suppose. So, yeah. Um, let's do... Let's do Song of the Day, like, just because I have it playing, because I was listening to it. Uh, or they played it during Raw, and I wanted to see who it was by and all that stuff. Uh, Down Home by Jimmy Allen. Great song. Because um, I've heard it before, but yeah, it's a good song. So, um, that's our song of the day today. I hope you guys have an awesome day today. Um, I will talk to you guys tomorrow as always. Be excellent to each other. Peace and rock on.